Hey there, Scorpios. This is Kim here to do a reading for you for your next 48 hours. So I hope you're doing really good, Scorpios. Let's get into your reading. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate you. And if you would like a private reading, I'm doing those still for donation for uh, the channel. So check out in the description box below for that information. And let's get started, Scorpio, for your highest timeline. Um, we ask your angels, your higher self, to get wisdom and messages that will guide you towards your highest timeline always. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like somebody else got this exact combination. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Because these two came out for another group. I think it was Leo. I think it was Leo. All right. So, Scorpio, we have 13. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Meaning, there's more than one way to do something. And this is despite anything that you have been told. So, having a breakthrough or finding a solution or something that's really original to your ideas. And having faith. It's almost like having faith restored. That's what it feels like, having faith restored. Um, 40, bump on a log, lazying around, loafing, inertia, a false start, non-response, or disinterest. Disinterest. Goodness. Cute little bear. And then 24, it's raining cats and dogs. Temporary intensity. Surrender. Yep. This too shall pass release and cleansing oh yeah a cleansing yeah stuff gets all shook up but it's having a cleansing it's having a cleansing all right so there is that was from the southern southern oracle i don't know if i said that or not um let's get another card let's just keep on going this is the entrepreneur deck from um, Etsy for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, I definitely, definitely got, this is a message that Virgo got to clarify, get clear on what activities and online platforms bring in your best clients or customers and focus your attention there and ignore distractions. Clarify. I feel like it's clarifying your intent and clarifying to spirit what you're wanting to do. Okay, so learn. Work with a mentor to implement the right strategies to get business results you want. Be open-minded and enthusiastic to learn. Okay, learn. Learn and clarify. Learn and clarify. Work with a mentor, implement the right strategies to get the business results you want. Be open-minded, be enthusiastic to learn something. So maybe you're learning a new skill or something like that. Maybe that's something that's going on. Let's get something from uh, the tarot. This is the Dream Keepers Tarot. For Scorpio. Hey Scorpio, what's going on? What's the issue? What's the issue with Scorpios? Oh, there's the issue. There's the challenge right here. Here's the issue. Here's the challenge. Um, I, I feel like it's a maybe um, maybe you're resistant to that change, um, to the new beginning, to learning with like an open mind. Maybe it's hard to not judge how you feel right now with something in the past. Um, a new adventure is beckoning on you. There's something about the way that either we're trying to do too much or something is, is forced and, and it's causing this off balance here. It may be um, off balance like with money, uh, money issues or off balance with change though that i think it's a resistance to some change maybe a resistance to doing something a different way yeah 
maybe is slightly resistant to learn uh, the, the more modern way to do something um, for the benefit, for your benefit though, and your families. Heart and soul of the tarot, the fool. What is underlying everything? Six of Cups in the reverse tells me that you've got uh, family um, relations to on the mend or that are to be mended. Or this is feeling off balance without your soulmate energy. It can be that too in separation. Resistant to change. Not being able to get together. What's the past energy looking like? Three of Swords in the reversed. Past in the reverse is past energy past energy. Um release and a purging of things that um were heartbreaking, things that you don't have anymore or something that you lost. And that that's released. It's being released. It has been purged. The now energy is Ten of Wands in the reverse. So it's sad, but I think you got yourself to burnout or exhaustion. And so this Ten of Wands came and said, reverse it. You got to lighten your load or this is, this is going to fall apart. So there's something right now that's off balance because you're just doing so much. You're taking so much on yourself. What is the near future energy looking like? King of Pentacles. If it's in the reverse, it might be about needing to get advice from somebody regarding business. Hmm. Let's get another card. Regarding business, maybe regarding finances. Time to try something that you've not done before. Everything else is doing something the old way and it's ending up not working because it never worked to begin with so keep your um eyes open and your ears listening to people that could help you out and give you advice mentoring for business maybe even somebody like a grandpa figure or something like that Learning from somebody who um, is really good at business. Helping you with business. High Priestess in reverse is... Oh, that's at the spot where you are. So you're feeling like you can't trust yourself. I don't know why. Or like you can't trust your intuition. Because it's an old energy. Because there's something about the old energy here. Um... Because you can trust yourself. This needs to be turned the other way. You need to step into all your power and uh, your use your spiritual gifts to help you, to help you navigate through this life. So there's something that we're not, that maybe we're just basing a lot on mind um, instead of heart. But High Priestess is in reverse when you need to start listening to yourself. more than one way to do this devil in reverse is good in your um, situation so you're releasing um, addictions or uh, past like codependence um, <clears throat> relations past addictions and this could be like food sex drugs money um, it could be any, any kind of addiction, right? So beating our addictions and um, not letting them dictate for us how we're going to live our lives by dictating what they are to do. Like, leave. <laughs> uh, could be Capricorn energy. In your hopes and fears spot. The hopes and fears. 
two of wands. God, I mean, it's in the reverse. So it's like lack of motivation, lack of drive. This might be dealing with the intense energy switches that are going on right now. That might be what's going on with all these twos in the reverse. And, and really, somebody might be in a separation from, like, twin flame energy or what they feel like is a twin flame energy. What's the outcome looking like here? Oh, my goodness. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It it may be a new experience for this King of Pentacles. Okay, if there was an issue with this, this committed person to their business, right? I think there's a brand new chapter either with this person or as the patriarch, um, as the entrepreneur. There's something really new. There's an elevated experience about to happen with the world card. It's it's like new grids have been placed down and it's time for a new experience. Time to use um, the Akash. Time to use the memories from your past lives to help you in this life. It's almost like that was activated or something like that. It's what it feels like, like it was activated. And so it triggered this awakening, this big awakening in you. Huge communication coming in that's going to move you forward. Seven of Swords is possibly self-deception, possibly deception guidance because it's something about our focus here and losing control of the discipline there's something with us being needing to find discipline and focus and it may be um involved with letting go of this devil energy so it, it might be just all about that honestly i'm gonna get some of these just to uh see I'm curious to see what comes out for you for our Scorpios, let's see what can come, what comes out for them. I'm going to pick these up and um, do a few more oracle for you. To help you get to the world card, because I feel like that's definitely in your future, um, your outcome. Okay, the Epiphany deck, the Sacred Signs and Symbols deck for Scorpio. Nice. True love stories never end. True love stories never end. Maybe something is being karmically and put into your life red hot chili pepper intense passion lust or desire and um suitcase burdens baggage escapism it can be what the devil or this shadow energy invites you to be a dependent on right that keeps things um at bay because of the inability to see as clear so a fairy is wishes fulfilled dreams and innocent dreams and innocent you are not your story don't identify with a story or a label you are not that <laughs> all right now guardian angel card for scorpio for scorpio Angel of Dreams. Angel of Dreams coming out. Pay attention to your dreams. Maybe doing things in your dreams. I, I always had, um, still have, uh-oh. Always have and still have lots of dreams. Like, um, dreams that are, it, it feels like I'm doing something else. And I've, I've had one lucid dream experience, you know, where you wake up like in the middle of the dream. I just woke up and was like, oh my God, I'm conscious. I'm here now. But it's almost like it faded. It was so weird with that lucid dream. It was like it faded out. Like just slowly I 
I guess I actually fell asleep. Like I was conscious and I popped in my dream and then I went back to sleep. So angel of dreams, something about your dreams, maybe astral projection. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. So let's get something from the witch's oracle. And then I'm going to wrap your reading up. Four Scorpios. Four Scorpios, the witch's oracle. Witch's oracle, the witch's oracle. Whoa, okay. Holy stone. Oh, holy stone. Protection. If you find a stone with a hole in it like that, it is for protection. The queen of Elfame, magic and beauty. The queen of Elfame, magic and beauty. I will. That look at her with her mirror and her ball, a crystal ball. <laughs> and then I have. 26, the womb or the cauldron, which is considered the womb, the, the birthing place for your, um, you know, all of your magic that happens. So let me get the book really quick. Okay. Number 24. I feel like you're protected. I feel like if you're doing something, like if you have something in, in mind that you're wanting to do for the greater collective, um, there's something really holy about that, and there is protection for that, too. It says the holy stone, or hag stone, is a stone with a hole running through it. These are particularly uh, powerful goddess symbols. Powerful goddess symbols. It says you are standing in your psychic power at the moment, or you shortly will be, like you will be here shortly, fully aware of energies that are circulating around you or those you care about. Utilize this sensitivity by tuning in regularly to check that environments are clear and clean. The Holy Stone is especially linked to the dark crone goddesses who can be hailed when something is oppressive or draining. Hmm. On a high note, you should expect a blessing. And um, there's something about bringing in Blessings and protection for any new projects. Like I say, something about the projects. So next um, card is this one right here. Really pretty card. The Queen of El Fame. Magic and beauty. And this is the vibration of the underworld. This was the vibration of the astral realm, by the way. Which was interesting because we were just talking about dreams in the astral realm. Are we? So... The underworld, potential, magic, and beauty. Deep within the caverns, our mother, the earth, lives the elfin queen, the leader of fairy and little little people. The doorway to her world are many. Known also as the Morrigan, the queen of Elfame embodies all three aspects of the triple goddess. Yeah, which is the... The three aspects of the... Tri oh, sorry. No, I'm not going to say the wrong thing. Let me not say the wrong thing. Hang on. <laughs> it says, you have the ability to see through illusions if this card appears. Ooh. Tapping into realities, other realities, and bringing magic and beauty to all that you touch. It says, you may be called to reflect the beauty of another back to them. Or perhaps to bring some magic into their life. Seek the magic in all situations and call upon the Elfin Queen to guide your journey. You are a powerful mirror for others at this moment. Know that you are beautiful. Oh, and a high note, magic is touching you. So seek your beauty and believe in the magical self. And then Cauldron 26, the womb, the womb, the sacral chakra. The void or the potential, it says your seeds of creation are now being sown. Um, what you put in is what you get out. That's what I got, free Scorpio. Send me a love and light. Bye, guys.